Hey guys, welcome back to Triple L Rustic Designs. In this video, we're gonna be testing out our new Gearheart Industry Electric Branding Iron. Check it out. All right guys, we're here at the shop and we just received a package from Gearheart Industry. Gearheart saw in one of our previous videos that we were using a custom branding iron, but it was the standard model branding iron that you needed an external heat source to heat it up. So they sent over one of their electric model branding irons and we're really excited to open it up and test it out. So inside this box, it looks like we have a stop read this, just some little uh, important notes about the product. We've got some instructions. Looks like these are some pretty good instructions. It also comes with a picture that tells you and shows you what to do. All right, inside the box, we've got some nice bubble wrap, keeps the brand protected during shipping. And wow, this thing looks really nice. It's gotta weigh at least five pounds and it looks really professional. So it looks like the end of the branding irons wrapped up with some bubble wrap to keep it protected during shipping. We're gonna peel that off. All right, wow, that's cool looking. So Gearheart Industry actually made us our own special brand for the end of this electric branding iron. I'm really excited to see how that turns out on some of our cutting boards. Um, they actually do a test brand with our model and it comes in the package on this little thin piece of wood. And looking at the brand, it looks awesome. They also threw in a sweet sticker. Gotta love when packages come with awesome stickers. So this electric branding iron looks pretty simple. It's got a 115 volt plug on the end of it. So if you watched our last branding iron video, you noticed we struggled with getting consistent burns because we had to use a torch to heat up the brand. So this electric model is supposed to solve that problem by heating up the brand to the correct heat. So that way, every time we press it down, it should give us a consistent brand on whatever we're working on. So what we're gonna do is grab a couple different pieces of wood just like we did in the last branding video and we're gonna test out this electric branding iron on all those pieces of wood and see what kind of results we get. Based on how heavy this branding iron is, I don't doubt that it's gonna produce some quality results. So reading these instructions that came in the package from Gearheart Industry, it says here that all you gotta do is plug this branding iron into the wall and in about 15 to 20 minutes, it's gonna be up to the correct temperature to start creating some logos. It says here to create a good stamp, the surface needs to be nice and smooth and you'll apply moderate pressure to one to two seconds when you put it down on the material. It also says if you dampen the surface that you're working on with some water, it can leave a crisper mark and less residue on the surface. Real quick, I wanna say thank you to my mom who's behind the camera today. She also has a YouTube channel and if you click this little button up here, it'll take you over to her YouTube channel or I have a link to it in the description below. On her YouTube channel, she focuses on the animals that we have here on the farm, as well as child development. My mom was actually a daycare teacher for almost 30 years until COVID hit. When COVID came around, she had to shut down the daycare and now she spends most of her days out here playing with our farm animals. Be sure to head over to her YouTube and check it out and don't forget to subscribe while you're there. All right, so we're gonna get the branding iron plugged in, wait the 15 to 20 minutes till it's up to the right temperature and we're gonna start testing it out on some products. All right, so what I'm thinking is, we'll get a piece of cedar, a piece of oak, and a piece of pine to test out this branding iron on. Looks like I got a nice piece of cedar here. Um, this piece of oak will do just fine. We're gonna use the other side of the last branding iron video. So we'll use that side. And why not? We'll use the same pine that we used in the last video. We'll just use the other side. I don't know if you can tell or not, but there's actually some smoke coming from the branding iron. It says that this is fine. This is perfectly normal when it's new. Um, so don't get freaked out if you buy one and it does the same thing. All right, so we've got this piece of oak here. We've got a piece of cedar, and then we've got a piece of pine. I'm very interested to see how this electric branding iron does on all three pieces of wood. Being that this pine log isn't sanded on this side of the surface, I'm gonna run this as well as the cedar and the oak through the planer to give me a nice, flat, smooth surface.
While this branding iron is heating up, I wanted to talk to you guys about a couple things. If you haven't noticed already, I'm wearing a Triple L Rustic Designs shirt as well as a Triple L Rustic Designs hat. If you would be interested in purchasing one of our hats or our shirts, drop it in the comment section below. Also, while I have your attention, Zoe and I have another YouTube channel. It's called Home Between the Oaks and you can get to it by clicking this button here. If you can't click that button, then look in the description below and there will be a link to take you over to our other channel. That channel is about our farmhouse, which is not too far from here, and as well as our property and all the projects that we do down there. I highly encourage you to head over to that channel and check it out. While you're there, don't forget to subscribe because we're trying to grow that channel as well. One more thing, we've been starting to partner with a lot of companies and we're really excited for the things that are happening with Triple O Rustic Designs. If you're a company watching this and you want to speak with me about a partnership, you can find my email in the description below or even just drop a comment in the comment box below and I'll get back with you. All right, so it's been about 15 to 20 minutes and I can tell that this branding iron is getting very hot. The bottom of it is actually turning like a brownish red color, so I know this thing's cooking. I think we're gonna test it out first on this pine log and I'm very interested to see how it turns out. All right, so on the end of the branding iron, it's got this really nice handle that fits well in your hand. So that's gonna make it really easy to apply a good brand on the product. What's also really nice about this branding iron is that it's got these holes and all these indicators on this one side of the shaft. That way you can line it up to get a perfect level brand every single time. All right, I can feel the heat radiating off this thing. Let's go ahead and test it out on this pine log. All right, so I can see there that I didn't push down on the brand all the way on the one side, but that one to two second hold time seemed to work really nice. It, it produced half of a very good brand. Let's try that one more time. All right, so the brand looks amazing. Like that is an insane detail in the actual brand, but I definitely need more practice to figure out how to get that perfect, consistent brand every single time. Now that is what I'm talking about. That one turned out so nice. Let's see if I can get one more just like that. That is very nice. I'm blown away by the extreme detail in the actual brand. The way that Gearheart Industry made this branding iron, they actually included a log with the, the log end grain. And you can even see those little tiny end grain lines in the log, as well as the teeth on the saw. That detail is incredible. So great job Gearheart Industry for making such a nice product. So our t-shirt supplier just sent over some samples of some different kinds of shirts. We're looking at probably selling shirts just like this, like a regular t-shirt with the logo on one side and then the logo on the other side. We're probably gonna have some of these polos made. I don't know if we'll sell them or if we'll just keep them as like a giveaway type shirt because those are gonna be more expensive, but we're gonna have a lot of these t-shirts here in the near future. This one's pretty nice, but I don't know about long sleeves. It's pretty hot down here in Florida. And also, Zoe's here, and she's rocking a super cute Triple L Rustic Designs t-shirt. It's got the logo on the back, and then a nice little logo on the front. So we will also be offering shirts for the ladies. So guys, if you wanna buy your wife a nice shirt, we're gonna have them in stock very soon. All right, we're gonna get these shirts out of here. I'm gonna throw this one on and change out of the one I'm wearing. All right, so, this is what that gray t-shirt that I was just showing y'all looks like. You got the triple O rustic designs on the chest. Then you got it here on the back. As you can tell, this is a size medium. <laughs> like it tight. I used to be buff, I swear. And then Zoe's rocking the female version of our shirts. So they look really good. V-necks. Now that Zoe's here, I'm gonna let her test out this Gearheart Industries brand on these different types of wood. Um, so far, we've done four on the pine. We're gonna keep practicing on the pine, see if we can get that perfected, and then we'll move on to the cedar and the piece of oak. That 
That didn't work. <laughs> That one's better, but I still don't have consistent weight on all sides of it. Okay, that one's more even, but I was lifting it up a little bit while I was branding it so you can see how there's a little bit of overlap. So I gotta make sure just to hold it in one spot the whole time. But the brand looks really nice, it's super detailed, and it's nice not having to heat this up between each branding. That one came out a lot darker. That looks really nice against the wood. Okay, I think I'm done practicing on the pine. The, the brand does look really good, but because of the wood's not really flat, it's not being very consistent. So I'm gonna move over to the cedar, which is super, super flat. Yeah, I don't think I pushed down hard enough on my right side, so there's a little bit of fading. But let's try that again. Oh wow, that turned out really nice. That logo looks beautiful on the red cedar. It's amazing how much detail you can see, all the grain in the wood. That one's like perfect. So I'm holding the iron down on the wood for probably almost closer to three seconds. That seems to be a pretty good time for at least the cedar. That turned out really nice. I'm getting really good at the branding on the cedar. But I'm gonna do it a couple more times, fill up this piece of wood, and then move on to the next one. So I'm actually holding the branding on the wood for probably closer to four or five seconds, but I really like the look of that. All right, so I'm all done with the cedar. I'm gonna move on to the oak. Like last time, the oak is gonna be more dense, so I'm probably gonna have to hold the iron on the wood a little bit longer. That turned out nice. That turned out pretty good. I hold the iron on the wood for probably five or six seconds and it turned out nice and dark, but it's losing a little bit of the detail on the wood. Probably because this board's not like all the way sanded flat. We're getting some pretty good results on the oak. I'm gonna add some water to the wood and try that branding as well. Okay, that didn't turn out very well. I'm gonna try over here where there's not a knot.
All right, so we just got finished testing out this branding iron, and a couple of things I noticed is the flatter and smoother the surface, the better the brand is gonna come out. Also, if you add a little bit of water to the wood, it makes the brand look extra crisp. If you watched the last video where we used that standard branding iron from the custom brand shop, that's a good branding iron to use if you are just getting into woodworking and you want something super simple and fairly cheap to create a nice brand on your products. Now, if you wanna get into the higher end professional type stuff, I would head over to Gearhart Industries and pick up one of these electric models. They're gonna be pretty pricey, but as you can tell, it's really nice having that automatic electric heat right to the brand. You don't have to get a torch and heat it up every time before putting the brand on something. So if you want something that's a little bit easier to use, upgrade to the electric branding iron. If you just want something to start out, stick with that standard branding iron. I wanna give a big thanks to Gearhart Industries for making us this branding iron and sending it to us to try out. The logo looks absolutely amazing, and I like that the logo is a little bit different than our other branding iron, so now we have two different options when it comes to putting our logo on something. I also really like how quality made the electric branding iron is. I'm not kidding, guys. This thing has to weigh like two pounds. There's a giant piece of brass on the end of this thing, so it is definitely quality, definitely well built, and we're excited to use it for a long time here at our shop. One of the things I like about getting this brand from the Gearheart industry is it's gonna be bigger than our other brand that we did in the last video. That one from the last video was one and a half inch by one and a half inch, and this brand is actually two inch by two inch. So if we wanna put a logo a little bit bigger on one of our products, we're gonna go with the Gearheart industry. If we just want a small little logo, we'll break out the other standard branding iron. That's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget, drop your comments in the comment box below if you're interested in purchasing some shirts. We're gonna be pumping these things out here very soon, but I need to know if you guys are interested in them. If you guys like this video, make sure you smash that like button. It really helps out our channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're gonna be pumping out videos left and right. It's kinda of hard sometimes because we do have real jobs other than this. So in between doing our careers, we're out here. So in between our real careers, we're going to be out here trying come on, <laughs> make it fast. So in between our real careers, we're going to be out here trying to make some videos for you guys. We appreciate all the love and support, and we love the way you guys are growing this channel. All right, guys, we'll see you on the next one.